Hi, I'm Belinda, and I'm an astronomy PhD student at the University of Southern Queensland. For our second journey through the universe, I'm going to tell you about galaxies. Galaxies are a favourite topic of mine because you get images like this one. This is a picture of the oldest galaxy we have detected so far. In this little box is a red dot. And that red dot is light coming from a galaxy that was formed right at the beginning of our universe. In this image, almost every point you see is a galaxy. This is an amazing image. This is taken from the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. So what they did with the Hubble telescope is that they pointed it at a blank patch of sky and they just stared at it for a very long time, gathering as much light as they could from the distant universe. And what they saw was amazing, it was millions and billions of galaxies that come in all variety of colours and shapes and sizes. And this is why I love galaxies, because there's just something so magically beautiful about them. This is another image that shows the variety of galaxies that are out there. We have spirally shaped galaxies that you can see above me here and some thin ones that you can see around me here. We also have some large blob ones that you can see over this way. And then you can also see some ones that kind of look a bit strange. They're kind of warped and have some weird shapes, just like the ones down here. So astronomers really like to classify things. We like to have categories for them. So we split galaxies up into roughly three categories. You have your spiral galaxies, you have your elliptical galaxies, and then anything else that doesn't really fit into those categories we call irregular galaxies. So how do we define each of these? What are their characteristics? These are images of typical spiral galaxies. They have bulges in the middle. The one to my left is sort of more bar-shaped and elongated. The one to my right is more spherical. But they both have arms and structure, and they're both more blue in those arms than in the centre. Next, we come to ellipticals. These are the most visually boring of the galaxies. They're blobby, they're, they're football shaped, they're spherical, and there's no dust in them, there's no star formation happening, unlike in spirals where there's lots of star formation. These ones are just stars. Nothing's being made, they're just chilling there, living out their life in a giant blob. Next we come to irregulars. Now, irregulars are sort of strange. They're either not large enough to form a nice spiral or a nice elliptical, but they're too large to really be considered star clusters. So they get classed as galaxies. Now, they can also happen through mergers. When you have two galaxies interacting, it can strip things out and disturb all the structure in them. And that's really cool, because you can get some pretty amazing galaxy shapes when that happens, such as this one. This is the Penguin Galaxy. I love this galaxy, it's beautiful. What's happening here is that you have the spiral galaxy being warped by this large elliptical galaxy down here. You can still see that it was a spiral galaxy because of the remnants of some of the spiral arms that formed the penguin's beak and back. Now, we're quite fortunate to be able to see this galaxy as a penguin, because if we were oriented in any other way in the universe, if this galaxy was tilted in any other direction, then we wouldn't see it as a penguin. The way we view galaxies is very much dependent on its orientation with respect to us. Now, when it comes to classifying galaxies and looking at them, we also have to deal with the resolution of the images. 
Now, I've been showing you some beautiful images that are very high resolution and you see a beautiful amount of structure in them. But when astronomers are classifying them by eye, they don't always deal with images that are quite so beautiful. This is an image from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. As you can see, it isn't nearly as pretty as the images that I was showing previously. Now, trying to classify the object in the centre can be a bit tricky. But looking at it, you can see a brighter blob in the centre and you can see a bit of structure coming out of it. So that one would be classed as a spiral. What about another one? This one's even trickier. Again, we're hampered by low resolution. And while this one may look kind of blobby and the gut reaction initially may be, oh, well, it's an elliptical. But if you look closer, it's kind of paler in the centre and bluer around the edges. And you can just see a faint hint of possibly some spiral arms coming out of it. So that one would probably be classed as a spiral. So what about the shape of our own Milky Way? the galaxy that we live in. Well, this image shows an artist's impression of what our galaxy probably looks like. Now, a lot of science has gone into it. A lot of astronomers have gone and sort of observed our galaxy to try and determine how many spiral arms there are and what shape the centre of our galaxy is. And they've come up with this. Um, I'll also stress, this is the only image that I've shown you image of a galaxy that I've shown you that is an artist's impression. Everything else has been photos, except for this one, because unfortunately we cannot take a selfie of our own galaxy. One day it would be great to, but for now it's just too difficult. But yes, this is our galaxy and this is where we live. Where have we been on this journey of galaxies? We've seen all the different types of galaxies out there, the spirals, the ellipticals, the irregulars, the penguins. And we've even seen our own galaxy, albeit through a drawing, the Milky Way in the universe, a typical barred spiral galaxy. But the journey doesn't end here. You can also go and classify galaxies. You can have your own adventures in the cosmos by going to zooniverse.org, link below, and have a go, classify some galaxies, take a look at what's out there.